My name's Chaz Bruns, and I travel the world in search of the cheapest food, hostels, transportation, and tours so you don't have to. Which means you're going to get to find out some of the best places in the world to eat, some of the best people in the world to meet, Howdy, partner. and where to go to have a damn good time. And the best part is, I'm going to show you how to do it all dirt cheap. So if you're flying into Krabby, Thailand, you're probably going to have a layover in Bangkok. And if you're traveling with a group of people, the cheapest option is to get an Airbnb. Depends on what time of year you come, but for eight people, it comes out to 37 bucks a person. This particular Airbnb is in the Sukhumvit neighborhood. It's about a half an hour from either major airport in Bangkok. And the best part is each room has its own bathroom and shower. It's got a play area for the kids and a pool table for the adults. It comes with a full kitchen, washer dryer, oh, and a pool. So if you have to spend the night in Bangkok before you fly to Krabi, this might be a good place to do it. Especially if you like swimming as much as we do. Because a place like this back home would probably cost you about 2,000 bucks a night. And I think it's safe to say that Beth thoroughly enjoyed the pool. I'll put all the links to the Airbnbs in the video description. When you land in Krabby, give my friend Baby Corn a call. You heard right, his name's Baby Corn. And if he's not available to drive you, he'll send his friend James. Hi, I'm James. I'm the local people in Krabby. I hope to see you soon. Great come. Come on. On this trip, I'm going to show you four different villas ideal for traveling with a big group. For eight people, it comes out to 31 bucks a person. The living room has air conditioning and karaoke. It also has its own little kitchen and private bathroom. There's also a larger kitchen and dining area in the back. Paradise. Oh, and guess what else? There's an elephant sanctuary a quarter mile down the road. Hi. Wow. If you're lucky, you'll see him going on walks or taking a bath. Very cool. It's amazing. I cannot believe I'm so close to elephants. Drinking, walking in the middle of the street. If you want to spend a few hours at the sanctuary, that costs money. But if you just catch him walking down the street at the end of the day, it's free. After checking in, our friend Joy wanted to show us the hot springs. This is Joy. Yeah. About to go in the hot springs. To get into the hot springs, it costs five sixty-six a person. It's so hot in here. It's warmer than bath water. Refreshing. It's gonna keep me young and rejuvenated. I think it's probably like a hundred degrees what it feels like in the water. This is so beautiful. So therapeutic. It's amazing. Joy told us we all had to go under the waterfall. She was right. Don't fret, if you do get a little chilly, there's more hot tubs on the way back to the parking lot. So you can keep going from a, a ice cold shower back into the 107 degree hot tub, it's awesome. Well, our hot tub back home is like 104, I think this hot tub is probably about 107, 108, and then it connects to one that's probably about 102, and then where the, uh, where the waterfall was felt like 100. Yeah, I totally just made those numbers up. I have no idea what the temperature was, but it was hot. Next up is the Emerald Pool, 11 bucks a person. It's a bit of a walk to get there, but it's mostly flat, and it's honestly an awesome walk through the jungle. The Emerald Pool. Look at how beautiful this water is. 
It's a little bit crowded, but it's still cool. It's so cool. And there's fish in here. It's beautiful. This is what I need. <laughs> I love it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Those are like the flower. Oh, cool. This is the one you can't swim in. So we just made it to the blue pool, but we can't swim here because it's geothermal and it's so hot that it would cook you alive. But this is the water that comes up bubbling from the earth and it feeds down to the emerald pool where we, we were just swimming. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. After a long day of swimming, we decided to get a bite to eat at The Last Fisherman. It's one of my favorite places to eat now, Nog. I mean, check out this view. Zoe got a Thai iced tea and a Nutella pizza. Where do you want to see again? I don't know. Wherever you want. Kiwi. After dinner, we met back up with Joy and her boyfriend, Rene. They said we needed to check out the fireworks show on the beach. These guys do the show every night for free, but they rely on tips. I suggest giving them three bucks. So normally that's where day one would end, but I wanted to include some home cooking done by Joy herself. She's making everything from scratch. <laughs> this one, uh, shim from the sea. It's very good taste. Vegetable for cooking. We gave her about $10 a person, and her and her friend Anne cooked us a feast. That looks crazy. From the sea. Very beautiful. Fresh. <laughs> I'm getting fresh. fresh. That. Yeah. Everything fresh. Wow. All right. So if you come to Thailand, Joy will cook for food for you for $1 million. <laughs> $1 million. Okay. <laughs> All joking aside, Joy's about to open her very own restaurant called, you guessed it, Enjoy. It's in Ao Nong between Burger Daddy Pizza and Ao Nong Midi Resort. Here's the address at the bottom of the screen. I'll also put it in the video description. That way you can go and try Joy's cooking for yourself. Tell her Chaz Brun sent ya. She might make you something special, or she might just kick you out. <laughs> I'm sweet though. This is gonna be great. So good. This is awesome. Yeah. Joy cooked a, a fabulous meal. The fish wrapped in the lettuce wrappings with peanut sauce, squid, the prawns. It's, I mean, this is first class gourmet. What do you think, Beth? Oh, good. Joy is literally the best cook chef in all of Thailand. It's incredible. Joy, the best, the best. Today, we're moving next door to a slightly larger villa. Split eight ways, it's $32.81 a person. Joy helped us book all of our villas this trip. Ask her nicely, and maybe she'll help you too. Oh yeah! 
Here's our villa and our pool. Now come look at this. Elephants. If you want to do more than just look at them, you can feed them for six bucks. We'll give you a bucket of bananas and sugar cane. What do you think, though? We're feeding a younger elephant little tiny Chiquita bananas and some bamboo, and she's having a feast. After getting dirty petting the elephants, Joy said she'd bring us to another swimming hole. Where are we going? <laughs> if you want to go kayaking, you can rent them for 300 baht a day, which is roughly $9 US. But if you just want to swim, it's 33 cents. Is it cold? It's refreshing. But you can also just sit on the dock and enjoy a coconut. Swimming in the jungle. It's not as cold as I thought. It's really nice. <laughs> it's a little crowded in the main area, but if you just swim off like 100 feet, you can find a spot like this where you're all alone in the beautiful jungle. So wonderful. This honestly is very cool because I don't think there's anything dangerous in here. Um, there's some fish I've seen, but they're just tiny little fish. I don't think there's alligators. There could be some snakes, but uh, Joyce goes, the snakes won't kill you. The water, uh, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's crystal clear. You, yeah. can see, you can see everything on the bottom, all the little fishy swimming by. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yep, yep, very cool. And if you're into the jungle stuff, you can pay $3 in Krabby to have a guy take you in a boat out to some islands. So this is right off the dock at Krabby Town. You can take a, uh, a boat ride in. I don't know if these are mangrove trees or what these roots are. Pretty cool in here. It reminds me of the Disney Jungle Cruise. <laughs> As cool as it was, I was ready to hit up the beach. Of course, the beach in Anang is free. Enjoy. And one of the coolest parts about the beach is it's full of monkeys. What do you think, Dad? I think it looks like you when you're about nine. For three bucks, you can take a water taxi from the main strip of Nao Nong to Fra Nong Cave. I featured it in a past episode, but it's one of my favorite places in the world to swim, so why not show it again? For lunch, Joy took us to Joy Beach Cafe. No, she doesn't own it, but I wish she did. Very cool, sleepy little beach with a bunch of huts, and you can swim here and eat lunch or dinner. And I guess they have parties here. I don't know it's a full moon party, um, but they have concerts and they have a stage and stuff. So Joy Beach is a pretty cool little spot outside of the city. I was craving coconut, so I got dumplings and coconut milk, which is pretty much little tapioca balls, and then washed it all down with a blended coconut smoothie. It came to six dollars and twenty-four cents. After lunch, I took a dip in the ocean, and then I got a $9 hour long massage. So 
since it was my dad's first time in Thailand, Joy said he had to go see Buddha. I suggest making a $3 donation. The money you donate goes to help maintain the temple as well as train new monks. You can give as much or as little as you can afford. After you make an offering, you can always climb to the top. Just remember, it's quite a hike. And it's really hot, and it's really steep. Oh my god, it's hot here today. It's like uh, 98 degrees in direct sun. But I hiked to the top because I wanted to make an offering to Buddha. Um, every time I come to Thailand, I make an offering to Buddha and I pray. And so far, every time, he has answered my prayers. So thank you, Buddha. Uh, appreciate it. My life is great. For dinner, Joy took us to Shine Lei. It's overlooking Klong Meng Beach. Depending what you order, it's about five to ten dollars to eat here. But I was still full from lunch, and I was pinching my pennies for another massage. Hello, chef. How you feel? Good. There's just nothing quite like a Thai massage overlooking the ocean. I really like this beach a lot. It's a lot less crowded than the beaches back in downtown Ao Nang. Uh, there's a few working boats out here, fishing boats and stuff, um, but in general, I, I really think this is a much calmer area to come hang out, especially if you have a family or you just want a little more privacy. I mean, there's people here. It's not It's not like I've got the beach to myself, uh, but it's way less than, than the major beaches back over now, Don. The whole trip we've been bugging Joy about getting a tattoo. So she's taken us to her friend's place, William Tattoo, on the beach in Ao Nang. She was nice enough to fit us all in. <laughs> Alan, what are you getting? A sacred home. Wow! I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Just kicking back having a Hong Kong and Coke while I get in my tattoo and probably. Five, five, five. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> Kat and I are both going to get the same tattoo because that's what we do. Because we're best friends for life, you know? Yeah. Um, but it's going to be the Thai symbol for great wealth. So hopefully we both become billionaires after this and I can quit dirt cheap and start living bougie. Our tattoos range in price from 50 to 125 bucks. I got to sit here all day and wait for them to get the tattoos. So at least I got a beer. Zoe said we should end the night with ice cream, and I couldn't agree more. So we don't have rolled ice cream in Bangor, but in Thailand, it's right here, so let's go get some. It is so and it's delicious. Split eight ways our Airbnb was 28 bucks a person. Getting a foot massage at the villa.
Today, Joy signed us up to go island hopping. I've shown this in previous episodes, but we're going with a new company today. So for eight people, it comes out to about 20 bucks a person. It includes champagne and lunch. And be prepared to get a little wet on the way out. Hey, we arrived. So did everybody else. So we just made it to our first island. It's crazy busy because of the Chinese New Year. But you know what I say? The more the merrier. It's beautiful. I think 2024 is going to be a good year. Obviously, no champagne for Zoe, but she was offered unlimited Coca-Cola. She was in heaven. Get ready to see way too many sweeping high to low shots. What can I say? I just love stalactites and stalagmites. Those are sergeant majors. And there's yellow and black like those ones are, and then sometimes they're white and black. Joy snuck a couple extra things in our picnic basket. Joy is amazing. She's so freaking awesome. But don't be jealous. 90% of what you're seeing is included. And of course, make sure to get some good photos for Instagram. Oh, perfect. This looks great. Then let me zoom in. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's good. After a day full of adventure and a lot of sun, feel free to sleep on the way back. When we got back to town, we got a $9 massage. I think it's safe to say Zoe liked it. Then we headed over to Landmark Night Market. Grab some beers and a bite to eat. Do you like shopping? Yeah, I love it. Oh, oh. They're so pretty. You get six darts for a buck forty one. Really good. 
Garlic butter. Okay. Grabbed a three dollar beer and watched some live music at Boogie Bar. If you ask nicely, you might get a free shot of homemade tequila from Mr. Long. Hello, Mr. Long. Mr. Long. Yes, Mr. Mr. Long. Long. Welcome to Land of Smile. If you're looking for a late night snack, just find the guys selling barbecue scorpions. They're definitely an acquired taste. I think Beth liked it though. Zoe did not agree with Beth. <laughs> you can also just take a photo holding one that's still alive. So normally this is where the episode would have ended, but I wanted to show you a cafe and an awesome villa. We didn't stay there because it was booked up, but we got a chance to meet the owners and it is awesome. Cat, what do you think? Glorious. You know, I think I'm just gonna move here. I love this little lakeside restaurant surrounded by the mountains and there's fish down there. Uh, you can get a, a beer for 90 baht. It's awesome. If you ask nicely, they'll let you feed the fish. <laughs> and they will also let you play with their dog, Willie, free of charge. Believe it or not, this isn't even the most beautiful part of the property. Let me show you the villa. You see an infinity pool. You look out into the, the little pond. There's fish. I don't know if they're koi, but there's some kind of big fish swimming. And then you look up and you see the mountain. It's awesome. I'm not even the first one to film it. You might recognize it from MTV's The Challenge as well as The Bachelor. Who wouldn't fall in love here? During peak season, you can rent the whole villa for a thousand bucks a night. In the off season, 600 bucks a night, which comes out to about 75 bucks a person. Next time I come to Krabby, I'm staying here. I'll let the footage speak for itself. Hi guys from Aonang, Krabi, Thailand. Come, come see us over here, we'll, we'll fix you up. On the way to the airport, Joy brought us to one more restaurant. I couldn't pronounce the name of the restaurant, but Joy said it's pronounced like this. 
this place had some big boys swimming in their pond. I got a feeling it's from kids who feed them french fries. Oh, a little got it. You guys are gonna hate me for this, but I got sidetracked by these baby chickens. So I totally forgot to film the food, but let me tell you, it was delicious and affordable. And now you got to see the baby chicks. Plus, if it's more food porn you're looking for, I got it. We somehow talked Joy and Ann into cooking for us again. Her fried shrimps were to die for. Made Beth do her happy dance. So obviously, Joy can't come to your house and cook for everyone because she's opening her new restaurant. And Joy's gonna attempt to do her line in English right now. Joy, action. Come to me. Oh, come to me. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's okay. Come, come see me. Come to see me. I will cook for you. Enjoy Thai restaurant. Enjoy Thai restaurant. I'll post yes. the address at the end of this video with a link. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't close the video just yet. I got some more bonus footage. Before we flew back to frozen Maine, we stopped in Pattaya to visit our good friend Day. She's on vacation with a bunch of her friends and wanted to show us this beach. Kat and I got $9 massages. If you're headed to Pattaya, I check out this beach. So Ellen. Did you have a good trip to Thailand? I'm in heaven. You gonna come? I want to stay. You gonna come back? Yes, absolutely. Look at those palm trees behind us. Oh my God. Like Beautiful. <laughs> so that's the end of the episode, but I've got some uh, shameless self-promotion releasing an album. Uh, this is one of my songs. Play it during the credits. Hope you guys like it. Click the link below to check out the full album. So sometimes it's, in Thailand, it can be hard to find a, a good toilet but I found my favorite so far. You can actually sit in the tree and hold, or hold right onto the tree to use it, um, so you won't fall off. Just I highly recommend 10 out of 10. Uh, best toilet, toilet in Thailand. <laughs> well, <laughs> then. It's fake. They just tied them on. Can you hear her, Teddy? <gasps> I screamed at the top of my lungs. I've got this tattoo, this tattoo, this tattoo, this tattoo, this tattoo, this tattoo, this tattoo. Not sure if I showed you that one. And this tattoo for free. They're fake, though. You've tried.